Hey everybody, today I have a very cool mentalism effect to show you, so let's go ahead and get down here to the card mat and let me get into it. Okay, so here is everything you're going to need to perform the effect. Uh, basically, I fold up a piece of paper. You can use a business card um, if you want to promote yourself or get your name out there or whatever, but for me, I just use a folded up piece of paper. Uh, it's about the size of a business card. And you want to make sure it fits perfectly inside your envelope. And uh, you're going to need a pair of scissors, a sharpie. And for this effect in particular, you want this type of envelope. And I'll show you why in just a minute. Uh, I got this at Walmart. Any, pretty much anywhere that sells envelopes like Walmart, Walgreens, the dollar store uh, will have this type of envelope. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make your gimmick, which is very easy to make. And uh, then I'm going to get into kind of what the effect is and how to perform it. So to make your gimmick, uh, you're going to start out with the envelope, nothing inside. Um, and what you want to do with it is just start off and go ahead and seal it up. So lick that right there. Uh, and seal it up. I'll show you why in just a minute. So nothing's inside. Uh, then you want to take your piece of paper uh, or your business card and you want to write a message on it. Write the final word will be. And then you're going to want towards the bottom to write a line just like this. I usually do, so it's kind of like a marker that I write a word on later on. Uh, and basically now you can set that to the side for a minute. And you want to go back to your envelope that you just sealed. And the side that you sealed up, which is right here, you want to cut a little bit off the top, just a very, very small portion, make it as straight as possible, just like that. Discard that piece, you don't need it. And so basically it still looks like a sealed envelope, but you can actually get inside of it now. And that is your gimmick right there. You're going to take your piece of paper you wrote on, the final word will be, and you want to go... You want to put it in just like that. So basically later on when you take it out, uh, the line for you to write on right there will be just like that. And from the front it looks like that. They can't see anything. From your view it should look just like that. Just like that. So uh, you stuff that in there and you carry these two items around your Sharpie and your envelope and uh, you're ready to go. You find a group of people and uh, Basically, here's how you uh, want to approach the spectators and start the effect off. Um, basically, guys, this is a prediction effect. So you approach your spectators and you pull out an envelope and you show the envelope to them. And you explain that you've written something in here that will be of some importance later on. And uh, that you just want one spectator to name a random word out loud. So you choose one of the spectators and they name a word out loud. So let's say the word is card, okay? So they name the word card. And now you explain to the rest of the people watching uh, that you want to play a game of word association. And the first word has been named. The first word is card. And you ask the second spectator to name a word associated with the word card. And that's how we're going to play. So they do they name the word uh, birthday let's say right birthday sorry about the sloppy handwriting guys uh, anyways they name the word birthday and at this point uh, you with a little misdirection this will work uh, you want to come up with your index finger and pull out the piece of paper right there to that line right there where there's enough room to write a word and from your point of view, it'll look like that. From their point of view, it will look just like this. They can't see anything, and you you see that. So the second spectator, name the word birthday. You point to your third spectator to name the, a word associated with the word birthday. Let's say they say cake. And uh, you, you, you know, as you're writing down cake, you prompt your next spectator to name another word. Let's say they say the word candle. So usually, guys, I only go to about five words. Uh, five words is enough. If you only have two or three people, you can go back and forth between those two or three people. 
Uh, if you have one person, you can just go back and forth with him. Just keep him or her, you know, have them name words off the top of their head. Uh, but generally, the source better with a crowd of at least five. Um, so you write down the fourth word, and as you're writing that fourth word down, you prompt your last spectator to name the last word. So say the last word is fire, okay? So when the spectator says the last and final word, you're going to be writing fire down here on your business card or your piece of paper. But as you're writing fire, you want to you want to have them think you're writing down the fourth word still, okay? So when you're writing fire, you can spell out the word candle. You can be like C-A-N-D-L-E down here. But as you're writing fire on the business card or piece of paper, have them think you're still writing candle, all right? That's very important. When you're done writing fire down here, you pretend that you've just uh, gotten done writing candle, and you ask your last spectator, what was the last word again? And then they will tell you fire, and at this point, you spell it out right here. You can be like F-I-R-E. Make it very convincing that that is the first time you're writing the last word, uh, when in fact you've already written it down here. At this point, you cap your marker, and uh, you say, so everything was completely random, and they agree. And you say, so you remember at the beginning of this, I told you that I have something written inside of this envelope that will be of some importance later on. And the, they'll say yes or nod their heads. And guys, the way to load this back in here is to come up with your thumb, push it in there just like that, push it in as you're coming around to turn it over just like that. Let me show you that in a slow motion view. So you have everything here and you're coming up, you're pushing that in just like that as you're turning everything over to show them all of the words written down. So in fast motion guys, it looks just like this. You come up, push it in there and turn everything over. So you show them all the words and you say, so as you remember, i written something in here, and at this point, guys, you just take the envelope, and you explain you're going to tear the envelope open for the very first time, and you, you show them that you're ripping it open. Discard that piece in your pocket. Uh, you don't want them inspecting it, because if they take it, they might see something up with it. Uh, in reality, though, guys, it looks just like you've ripped it open. Nothing weird, but they might see something like that. Uh... Anyways, uh, you rip it open, you can hand it to the spectator who said the very last word, which was fire. They come in and they take the piece of paper or business card out. And uh, they read on there, it says the final word will be fire. And as you can see here, the final word is fire. And at this point, they should be very amazed. Everybody should be amazed. And uh, I mean, there's no possible way in their minds that you could have known that the final word said would be fire. Uh, you want to emphasize that to them. You want to make sure that they know it was completely impossible. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's it. That's the effect. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. It's one of my very favorite mentalism effects to perform. I love it. And uh, be sure to practice it a lot before you perform. And make sure you got everything, your storyline, uh, everything down before you perform it. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that's it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them down below. I'll answer any questions you have. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video, and goodbye.